and DV Builder experts out there, this is Tridip and you are watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip. Are you all aware of the awesome sticky scroll effect provided by DV 4.0 latest versions? Well, sticky scroll allows you to stick any element to the top or bottom of any browser viewport as you scroll up and down a page. This helps you to create sticky header or menus or sticky pop-ups or floating opt-ins. Let us see some of the examples what DV Sticky Scroll can do. In today's episode, I will show you a very basic way to create sticky scroll to your website design. But before we get started, Kindly like, share and comment on this video if you find it really important. And if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all our notifications of our upcoming updates. So without much ado, let's get started. So now I will show you how we can easily create amazing sticky scroll effect in DV without bothering too much of coding which would have taken hours in creating this type of effects. So I am in my learn with 3 dashboard. I will just create a dummy page. Click on add new. So here I will just give a name test underscore sticky scroll don't bother much click on use DV builder and you can see the permalink is already created for the ease of use and not to take too much of time I will choose a pre-made layout so that we don't waste our time in creating the layout as such I will click on browse layout and we'll just take this design agency design let's see which design works for us yeah all these layouts awesome layouts actually the designs are superlative these type of layouts are available without any extra cost if you are a dv subscriber so i am a dv affiliate member so i get all these templates free of cost to be used for any website designs so i will just click and use this layout dv just takes few minutes to load the templates please understand this is a very in-depth and quite nicely calculated template so it takes a bit of time to load keep your patience the end result will be really great so as soon as this layout opens for all DV users you know that this is the basic backend we can actually go back to the front end and try to create the sticky scroll over there so I click on the build on the front end button and you can see a very simple layout is there please note that none of the elements in this design is sticky we will try to create one and I will show you how you can use sticky layouts very um, intelligently in your design I would use the term intelligent because don't overuse any effect if you like it because sometimes it might spoil your entire user experience which we should not um, want to achieve right so let us see let us first check that 
how this works it totally the page is entirely scrolling there is nothing that goes and sticks anywhere so let us try and achieve this thing I will try to stick this enter row as soon as the row hits over here here means at our navigation area so that is actually the top so if you don't have a navigation area it will consider the browser top as the top of the page and it will stick over there since we already have two navigation strips over there it will stick itself after the navigation bar so let's get started I click on this row setting gear icon you need not to do anything just go to advanced settings go to scroll effects and over here you see that in the latest version they have introduced the sticky position which was not there earlier the this section is to start from the scroll transform effects now you have this particular strip over there you click on this and just click on stick to top for the uh, bottom sticky limit we can create it keep it as body area let's see what happens and I just click on the save changes now as soon as I scroll the page you see that this particular thing this particular area which I had is going and getting stuck at the top and the rest of the page is scrolling nice but somehow it is not looking nice right because of the transparent background so what should we do so it's very simple I will go and click on the gear icon and in the content section I will just scroll down and in the background I will click over there and you see now there is a pin icon that has appeared that shows that this particular element is sticky I will click on there and you see that now apart from the desktop thing a sticky icon has also come over here the sticky tab I click on that sticky tab and now in the background color I will keep it as say let us create something which is a bit different I will put a blue patch very good let's see what happens now see nothing is there as I start scrolling you see there is this box which has come up which is blue in color as we have set up and now see it is at the top sticking at the top wonderful right now also just see as I have told that it will stay with the full body that means through the entire body of the page it will go and stick itself over there lovely right so now at the same time if I want that once it is scrolled it will actually scale itself down a bit so I will go to sizing and in the width section I will click on the pin icon again and go to the sticky tab and just scale it down to say a uh, 50 percent lovely and I press on the save changes let's see what happens now as soon as it sticks it aligns itself in a smaller area now each and individual element of this thing can be changed if you really want the fonts to be smaller in size the alignment of the blocks to be at the center or at a different place you can also do that 
you can also increase or decrease the spacing so for example if I put in down the sticky and I see that I don't want this top to be 40 over there I can just sc scale it down right so these are the small things that you can obviously do so you can reduce the padding and if you see and now if I am scrolling down it is a smaller box and when it is inflated it takes the full screen size now where you want to place these things all these things you can definitely um, adjust yourself I am not going into the detail but it is very much doable if I want that all my text will be also changing that can also be done click on the text block over there go to design over here you have a new number, number text scroll down a bit go to number text size and click again in the pin the sticky pin shows that it is 60 in the smaller size as well so you can make it 40 see immediately you can see that the text has changed to 40 similarly we can do for others also but I will not bore you to death I will just try to show you one so that you know that how these things can be easily done so I will just take this I will go to design say title text h3 is showing over there I will simply go down and I will change the color of the text in the sticky format so I will just take it to white see this project has changed to white also I will make the text size sticky and in this I will change it to a 12 size see as soon as it is in the small version it is already smaller in size similarly we can do the same thing for the other text we we'll just change the number size don't forget to change it to sticky otherwise you will mistakenly change the desktop size okay and also I can change the bottom text same thing we will do h3 is still there I will go title textile I will put a pin over there go to the sticky tab change it to 12 see it is already changed to 12 also we can change the color for that in the text color we have to put a stick put a sticky tab and in the sticky tab we have to change the color to white so that's that's the way we do for all other blocks
so this is how it will work I just scroll up it goes and sticks itself at the top and also the size of the text they get reduced and gets themselves fixed within that area I can also make the height a little smaller so that's all folks hope to see your masterpieces soon till then goodbye and god bless